Okay, here's what I have rigged up for a drain for the flat tote that I'm going to use for the aquaponics. Um, I've basically drilled a hole in the bottom of this that'll go right here. Um, just just a, an adapter with a 90 with a spacer. I'm going to space that out so that it faces the right way so I could come down and go with the black hose to drain back into the fish tank. It's going to go here. This is threaded. Two reasons. One, it's what I have and two, I can take the stand type pipe off and uh, adjust the, the height as needed. Thread a different one in or I can change change things around. Um, a wee pole is going to get drilled in here. Um, probably really low, like right here. Um, so that way if the power goes out and when this is full it'll slowly drain itself empty so I don't have to worry about flooding and killing the plants. So that's where I'm at right now. I originally bought these two pieces for an overflow to go right here. That way it uh, in case the siphon, this is going to be part uh, bell siphon. Just start there. This is going to be a bell siphon. Um, top of the siphon, more pieces. Um, in case this doesn't work, I'll have a drain hole with an overflow. That's why this is so big. But I don't have enough pieces and I'm not running to the store to get more pieces tonight. So I'm going to build it out this way and and it'll be good for now. And always unthread this piece and uh, swap it if I ever need to change this. So it's going to be threaded on top and bottom so that way I can have adjustments. So, here I have a tube going through, it's just two couplers with a short piece of pipe pushed through, I don't know if you can see it, but it's siliconed on other, both sides, and as you can see it's just square to the tub, this can all, this isn't glued yet, so this can all come apart, but See, it's just a standoff tube, and then I can adjust this height to the height that I want the water. It's actually, it looks like it's really close, just the way it is. But, with the way my week's been going, I actually split the plastic when I was drilling it out. And, uh, it's just one of those weeks. So I got it siliconed up on both sides. And, uh, a real goobery silicone job. Great tool for drilling holes in PVC. Snow school uh, bit and brace, um, especially when there's a baby sleeping next door, or in the next room, I should say. I mean, it's just this easy. It doesn't take very long to drill a hole at all, but as you can hear, it's quite quiet. And uh, I just peel these holes off. Just but I mean that's as easy as it is. Drill these holes out. Just line up the, the bit where you want it. Give it a couple quick turns. And uh, peels that plastic right out. There, that was easier. Nice and easy. Sometimes the uh, old fashioned tools are what the doctor ordered. Drill the holes across and you just cut it off flush. It gives you a, a standpipe. This is actually a bell siphon. It's uh, solid. This one's, I didn't have to even have to glue the top together. But, uh, now we have your tank. Whoa! Hit the chair. So I have a fish tank with the tub on top with all the drainage. See that 
stand pipe. Comes down. Comes down. Goes into the tank. This feeder. See, under the tank. Comes into here. And it flows back in the tank. And then to pump it back in, I've got the green that goes to the side down to the Eheim filter. Back up. And just fills with that one. And so you can see it's actually at the right light height I want, and I can uh, adjust the height by adding uh, more pipe to this so I can bring the, high, the water height up a little bit more. I think I only want to fill the rock about this high, and you don't want the water to come all the way to the top of the rock because you'll have algae problems on the, on the surface at that point. But to make this whole thing work, the trick is this piece right here which creates a siphon basically you get the water flowing in down here and uh, by covering it with a waterproof piece you can actually cause the whole thing to start to flush and if you watch the water come out here um, See the water's flowing pretty good, piling up here, but it's actually flushing the tank, throwing the water level down on the, well, not the tank, the grill bed. Yeah. Help if I use the right words, wouldn't it? But now it's created a siphon, and the water's flowing into the bottom, holes in the bottom, getting pulled over the top, and then it's going down the, the drain pipe. And because it can't suck any air, it is draining um, the water out of the tote. And this tote happens to be a, a 41 quart, what's it say? Yeah, 41 quart um, underbed storage um, container. And just pulls the water right back into the fish tank. You see it's really, really flowing now. You see it's flowing right out of that tube. You can't see it so much this way, but you see it's filling the fish tank back up while it's draining the grow bed. One of the things you need to watch out for is if you watch the water level here, this water level goes up and down a fair amount, even though this is a 75 gallon tank, still pulling a lot of water out. So when you get your medium in the grow bed, you get your rocks, your gravel, or your clay pellets or whatever, um, you gotta mark this, you gotta fill this full when this is completely empty, like unplug it, let all the water drain out. Um, fill this tank up to the top and then uh, when this is just about to flush, the, the siphon is about to flush the tank, um, you mark the water level here. Um, probably the best thing to do would be just to uh, put the top or the bottom of the sticker, of your, your little thermometer sticker, at that height, so that way it's not a, something that's liable to get moved or washed off and it belongs on the tank anyhow. And now you know you don't fill the tank at any given point any fuller than that. That way you don't risk overflowing the tank. And uh, so here the grow bed's empty. Um, and it's just going to start to slowly fill back up. See, it's just a standpipe. And that's uh, how, a, uh, how a bell siphon works is this a style of siphon. I still want to put an, an overflow here so that I can overflow it and I still have to build a trap around this so that way when I fill it full of gravel it doesn't have a uh, gravel doesn't plug up those holes and I can pull this out for for maintenance and stuff like that.